Machaketla, what's happening where you are? Yeah, a very good morning to you, uh, Dursbury. We just arrived here a couple of minutes ago and uh, we found the gates of the court still closed. And uh, in fact, a lot of people standing outside, and I uh, suppose uh, these are family members of the accused or even perpetrators or even those uh, that are victims of any sort of crime here. Uh, so there's been some sort of frustration outside uh, the court's gates because what we hear is that uh, uh, water pipes are not functional and this has been the case since yesterday and uh, as a result people asking questions as to why were they not afo- uh, informed on time and uh, you can actually literally see a lot of people uh, squeezing themselves against uh, that uh, big gate there trying to find out what's going on and of course uh, and uh, you saw some of the traditional healers here uh, singing and uh, waiting patiently and hoping uh, that uh, this case um, of uh, Justina Sanguini, who was uh, banned in Soweto just uh, uh, two months ago, uh, will actually get underway. But that doesn't seem uh, to be promising. Anyhow, let's just talk to one of the family members, uh, Chabu Muahi, uh, who has been coming to the court ever since uh, this uh, case started. Uh, Mr. Muahi, thanks so much for your time. What are you hearing from inside the court? We are told that the case is going to be postponed for the next uh, uh, date due to the lack of water inside the court. So that's what we know at this point in time. So you were not informed on time. I mean, you are here already. You were not uh, told on time that uh, the the cross-court proceedings uh, won't get underway today. Yes, we are not informed on time. Exactly. We only find out when we ask at the gate, why are we not allowed in? That's when we knew that the case is going to be, can- uh, to be cancelled. And, and I know that this is taking a toll on you as a family, but let me find out first, uh, how is the family coping ever since that brutal murder of your mother? Well, I don't know how, when we speak about coping, uh, what do we mean? Because, I mean, the case hasn't already started and we, we are aware that we're going to be on a roller coaster ride uh, around this case. So, we, we're trying. God is with us, uh, guiding us all the way. So, that's our coping mechanism at this point in time. The last time we spoke, when we were here, when this case was postponed, you said that you would really wish to see these guys, the two accused, uh, that uh, were expected to appear today to apologize to the family. Look, if you've wronged somebody, you apologize. And then in that way, you are accepting that you made a mistake to that family. So you want to make things right. That's what we wanted. It's not only the two guys. There are all other guys that have not yet been arrested. Perhaps that's where we need to be focusing and saying, what's happening with the guys that have not been arrested? We need action as a family. We need people to be arrested for this case. We are willing to wait for justice to take its course. Can just you can, can you just briefly uh, take us back on that fateful night uh, when Omar Sanguin lost her life? Can you just take us back there? Because I remember you told me that uh, you had dropped her off in my bed there in Soweto uh, to go and consult at the doctor. Can you just take us back as to what happened? At that Look, we received a, a call around about half past 11 on, at night that she had been lost from the spiritual healer that she was sent to. So we went out looking for her, not knowing what had befallen her. And then we then decided to go and call the police and ask the police for help. And then they asked us to describe uh, the, 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 our mud. We did. And then eventually they said they found somebody fitting the same descriptions that we have given them. He, he, she nearly got burned by community in Mapetla. In fact, it's Piri, not Mapetla. So we went there 
Uh, with the police, and then we found her lying down there. Uh, we spoke to her, she responded, and then we decided not to wait for ambulance, but take her into our car and send her straight to hospital. That's, and then she spent a week at Paraguanat Hospital, and then that's where she died. I'm sorry about that, and that's just a short description of what happened on that fateful night, Desri. But as for the traditional healers, the regalia they are wearing here, in most cases, they get to be victimized, called witches, simply because of following what they believe to be a calling. I'm going to bring some of them here. Babamzila, yep. Togoza. Togoza. Thanks so much for your time. Yep. I see you are here to pledge your solidarity to the family. Yep. And perhaps a message out there to say that this regalia is not an, invi an invitation to victimization by communities. Tinanje, Janga Bangom, Janga Badap Bendabu, Sifunanja Ababulali, Umteta, our Sabbath, Umsebenzwao, Epoisa Alkiti, Me, Lifuna Babulali, Babo, Shasbafuneta, Ababulaka, Abukonis Nukulu, Ababulali, Abakosh, Pelaka, Umteta, our Sabbath. And perhaps talk to us about the importance of traditional healing. That's all. It's a call to help those that are responsible for Sanguinis murder to be arrested. Oh, yes, of course, there's only two at this stage. We had reports that there's probably more that might be, be arrested. It remains to be seen. We are still waiting for that information. Uh, let's just for the last time bring uh, one of the traditional famous organization um, uh, leaders. Togozama. Makosa. Thank you. Can you just talk to us about this? Um, you have been following the case as well. Uh, the last time we talked, you actually expressed fear. You expressed fear of uh, uh, just uh, pardon us, our colleague Kabin uh, Jogwen helping us apparently due to the lighting issue. Talk to us about this issue of the fear that you experience once you are in this regalia, traditional healer's regalia, walking down the streets, considering what happened to Umam Sangwen. That's my cause. I'm born in Jang Safun. I'm from Kulomanga. I'm from Tinuru. I'm born in Ngoba. Umam Sangwen. No, Ubula. We're going to go to Uya. I'm going to be in Kulomanga. I'm from Tinuru. I'm born in Ngoba. Absolutely. And you can actually sense the anger among them. All they want is for those people who are responsible for this murder to be arrested. We heard that postponements might be announced at this closed gate here, Dasri. We are expecting that to take place in a few minutes' time. We will be keeping you posted as to the developments outside the gates of the Protea Magistrates Court. Surely, frustration has been building since around half past eight this morning. We will be giving you every detail as it happens here. Mahaketla, thank you so much for bringing us up to speed.